Friday, and we have two very sleepy kitties with us here this morning, yeah. Julie, and uh, they're looking for a home. I was just saying, my fosters are wild, but Cheddar and, well, Zora, or I, French it's French fry. fry to us. It's French fry to us. Are, and every, t every week I come on, I go, these are the poster children for why you stay in neuter, don't <laughs> right, I? Right. But these two truly are. Cheddar was a stray little tiny kitten mm -hmm. found out around the Lincoln area. Um, French fry was truly found covered in oil, grease, Aww. and shortening by one of our volunteers out walking rescue dogs one day. Probably as tiny as my fist, if not smaller. So Dr. Matt, you know, dubbed her French fry. We Poor really baby. didn't think that, that she would live. And they are very meek and mild mm -hmm. kittens compared to what kittens usually are like. And, you know, because of all the hoarding incidents, because of a few people passing that have had a lot of cats, because of the impound and uh, how many cats there are in our phones ringing, we have to do half off cats again yes. in October. This is crazy. And I never want people to think that rescues and shelters ever win on an animal. Mm -hmm. We don't. Even at full price, we take a beating. September, we were 73, 74, 75 cats and kittens and between 20 and 30 dogs. And you do the math on just fixing them. And these two haven't been fixed yet. Yes. We've got hundreds into these two in vet bills. It's astronomical. You, you just go, wow, how do we do it? So when you see us all out on Facebook <laughs> begging for help yes. or in the community asking for help, that's what it is. I ask myself every time I see you yeah. how you guys do it. It's, <laughs> it's amazing, know. but thank goodness. Yeah, for fundraisers, yes. thank goodness for generous, generous people in our community and, you know, and the vets for stepping up to help. You know, Dr. Matt was amazing. He said, I can't even, I don't think this kitten's going to live. Um, uh, that you're holding right there her blood was so bad he said I've never seen blood like it wow. um, with all the shortening that she had not only been found in but in inhaled and probably eaten trying to Absolutely. stay alive so, so they need homes they lots of do. cats need homes you'll have a half off half and off always. the month of October <laughs> not just breast cancer but yes. half off cats and too. always and needing help that's yeah. for sure well thank you again so much Julie for guys. joining us and bringing these two lovely babies with us